You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, uh, joining us right now uh, is uh, attorney Ben Crump, uh, who represents uh, the father of uh, the uh, black man shot and killed in February. Ben, glad to have you back on the show. Hey, thank you so much, Roland, always. Uh, we talked about this thing earlier, and again, uh, the explanation being offered by these DAs makes no sense. Uh, frankly, uh, they are only moving. They're only taking into this action because that video got leaked. Absolutely, Roland. And you have to remember, Greg McMichaels, the father and this father-son duo who executed this young black man who was only jogging in broad daylight, had, was a detective for the district attorney in that district for 30 years. So you know he have a lot of relationships with the local law enforcement community, and I don't think they ever intended to arrest this uh, gentleman until that video came out. And so um, in terms of the what's next, now we have the Georgia Bureau investigation say they're launching an investigation. The DA say they're going to take it to the grand jury, but you can't impanel the grand jury until June. Uh, and so uh, now you have other people who are calling for the feds to step in. Absolutely. And, and Roland, we reject that excuse that they can't arrest anybody until June 12th. Uh, you know, when you think about what they do consider essential services in Georgia, like tattoo parlors, uh, alcohol bars uh, and bowling alleys, why isn't it essential that we get justice for the execution of an unarmed young black man who was simply jogging in his T-shirt and shorts, no burglary weapons, no burglary masks, any of that crap? Uh, why can't we get justice for him? And there is enough probable cause in that video that we see with our own eyes to make an arrest. Black people are arrested all over Georgia with far little than that video. Uh, questions from my panel. First, Scott Bolden. Hey, Ben. Scott Please. Bolden here. I hope you're safe and sound. Uh, yes. Glad you're on the case. Let me ask you this. Um, is the, the judicial system or the grand jury system there, are, are they impaneled or at least available to be impaneled? Because you're right, Georgia is one of those states that's open and trying to be open. And here in D.C., uh, you know, you have speedy trial requirements, you have grand jury requirements. Uh, the justice system can move when it wants to move. Would a panel be available? Could the justice system or the prosecutors move quickly to do that before June 12th? Uh, Scott, it's always good to hear you and your legal acumen. And you're absolutely right. It's a matter of will. This is an executive order by the governor of Georgia who, based on his executive order, opened everything else back up. So if he exactly. were, wanted to... They can have this grand jury impounded and respect social distancing. It's just a matter of will. And I always believe, it's like Dr. King said, justice delayed, justice denied. They're hoping that we will forget about it, Scott. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they could go out and arrest him right now. I mean, the DA could authorize the police to arrest him, hold a bail, bail hearing, and then put him in the grand jury later. It happens all the time, all around this country. There should be no delay here. Absolutely. And the Georgia Bureau of Investigations can do it. In fact, we expect them to do it and not wait on June 12th because they are supposed to be operating completely independent, completely divorced, they said, of anything mm -hmm. that the local authorities have done. So if that is indeed the case and they watch this video with their police power, Roland and Scott, they can go arrest these murderers, this deadly father and son duo right now. Uh, Joseph. Uh, Brother Krupp, thank you so much for, for joining us. Obviously, you know, it, it's bittersweet because obviously you're, you're a tireless advocate for justice. And yet at the same time, I feel like, you know, every time we, we, we encounter something how horrific. Um, and so I, I think, you know, to me, you know, how can we focus 
um, on getting the average person to understand kind of what, what our colleagues have been iterating all, uh, you know, talking about all day, which is that, you know, people are being arrested every day for foolishness, even in the midst of this corona crisis, right? And that, and that people have arrest warrants issued, you know, for parking tickets. Um, so, you know, just trying to talk about that um, in a way that people at home can understand that, you know, there is absolutely positively no excuse um, for the fact that these people have not been brought to justice or that at least not in the queue for justice to occur. Uh, exactly, Joseph. Two things. Number one, as I articulated in my book, Open Season, The Legalized Genocide of Colored People, over and over again, they engage in what I call the intellectual justification of discrimination. And that's all that is happening right here in Brunswick, Georgia. Because as Marcus Aubrey, uh, Ahmad's father said, if the shoe was on the other foot and it was him and Ahmad in a pickup truck well, for a shotgun and a 357 Magnum chasing a young white man jogging in the neighborhood and they kill him, they would have been arrested that day. There is nothing that can convince him that they would not have been arrested. And so Mr. Marcus says it's just not fair that Greg McMichaels gets to enjoy his son and his presence while on Friday, which would have been Amaz's 26th birthday, he can't mm. enjoy the presence of his son on this earth. So it's just in disingenuous what they're saying, why they can't go make an arrest. Hopefully our people won't keep falling for the banana in the tailpipe. When they want to arrest people, they arrest them. They don't want to arrest these guys. Uh, Lauren Victoria Burke. Uh, hey, Ben, this is Lauren. Uh, my only question for you, and, and thank you for all your great work, is when are you filing the civil lawsuit? I mean, I, I trust nobody down there. I don't think any justice is going to be done. So I'm just wondering, when do you file the, the civil lawsuit? Do you wait until these people do their typical dance, or do you do it now? You know, uh, unfortunately, even though we can file a civil lawsuit, the, we've looked at the assets. They have hardly anything, the real mm -hmm. push, and we don't mind bankrupting them, Lauren, but the real push is to make sure that they are held accountable, that they are in prison for the execution of this young man. And so if we don't get them to go forward with charges, we will certainly file a lawsuit, as Scott knows, to be able to get discovery uh, mm -hmm. to help bolster our position and gather evidence that otherwise we probably couldn't get to say, you have this ground to arrest them, and you have this ground to arrest them, and you have this ground. You know, Roland, that we believe, as we observed that video, that was a single pump shotgun. And we believe that each time he shot that gun, he literally had to pump the gun. And we believe mm -hmm. each time he shot that gun should be another charge for murder because I, we think this case reaps of malice of forethought when you get in a... Uh, truck with a shotgun and a 357, you know, that's what they use to take elephants down when they escape uh, the zoo. They're a shotgun. Mm -hmm. So to have that shotgun and say, I'm going to encounter this young black man, Got we it. think you had evil intentions from the beginning. All right. All right. Ben Crop, we certainly appreciate it, sir. And we'll keep following this story. Thank you so much, Roland Mark. Every single night. We've got some of the top black experts. You're not going to see them on cable news or broadcast news because you swear black people aren't experts when it comes to this health crisis. That's why we have this show and why we do what we do every day on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Joining us right now is retired General Russell Honore. Uh, thanks just for the black surgeon general, Dr. Jocelyn Elders. John Hope Bryant, he is the founder of Operation Hope. Senator Kamala Harris of California. Dr. Sadrina Calder, retired General Lloyd Austin. Congresswoman Karen Bass, Commissioner Omari Hardy. Bureau President in Brooklyn, Eric Adams. Dr. Joseph Graves, America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens. Dr. Corey A. Bear, Patel Salt. Uh, how University Institute. Pastor Jamal Bryant, a doctor. Uh, Christy McDowell, Benja Ajilore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress. Gilda Daniels, again, author of the book, The Crisis of Voter Suppression. 
in America. Four stars, General Kip Ward. Dr. Oliver Brooks is president of the National Medical Association, the president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Patrice Harris. Joby Benjamin, Dr. Alexia Gaffney, infectious disease specialist. Dr. George Benjamin, uh, executive director of the American, American Public Health Association. Malcolm Nance, family medicine physician, Dr. Jen Caudill. Dr. Tashaka Cunningham, a molecular biologist. Kat Stafford, she's a national race and ethnicity reporter for the Associated Press. Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick, uh, who is the president of Howard University, Congresswoman Yvette Clark uh, from the state of New York, William Springs, AFL-CIO economist, uh, Andrea James, executive director of the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. All right, let's go to Capitol Hill. Congressman Gregory Meeks, Congresswoman Anna Johnson of Texas, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Minnesota Senior Amy Klobuchar, mental health clinician, Jamie Singletary, Prince George's County State's Attorney, Aisha Brayboy, as well as Dylan uh, Harry, ACLU Justice Division Strategist. Uh, Dr. Cindy Duke, uh, she's a virologist, Principal Steve Perry of Capital Prep. Health and Wellness Specialist, Dr. Yolanda Hancock, Desmond Mead, President of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, Cliff Albright, who is the co-founder of Black Voters Matter, Michael Harriet with the group, the Mina McWhorter, founder of Love by the Hand of Dr. Julian Malvo, Economist President, Emerita Bennett College, Coroner Michael Fowler, is the Mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, Mental Health Therapist, Suzette Clark, Justin Gibney, Attorney and Political Strategist, and Bishop Vincent Matthews, Jr., Dr. Suzette McKinney, CEO and Executive Director of the Illinois Medical District, Dr. Leon Madugo, President-Elect of the National Medical Association, Jana Bailey, Mayor of Moss Point, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mario King. We're going to keep driving this thing to make sure our people are fully aware, safe, protected from coronavirus. You get the top medical experts, the top business experts, top political experts, top religious experts, because that's why we do what we do unapologetically and unfiltered. Ain't nobody else in the black media space doing what we do. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.